Hey YouTube, Aaron with the Vacant Land Guys here. Got another property here for you. Um, I've been changing up the website, making it a little easier. We have for sale and sold tab, so you can just click here and see all of our for sale properties. Um, here's the newest one. It is uh, 21.19 acres with a creek, trees, and privacy. It's right near Beatty, Oregon. Uh, we're asking $9,997. Our cash deal, or fifteen hundred down and two fifty a month owner financing for one hundred and twenty months. Um, here's a picture of the property. Uh, lots of trees. Here's a picture of uh, looks like the Milky Way there. It's at night. So there's no light pollution out here. Cause you're kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. Here's a picture of the property uh, from uh, the uh, Google Earth Sat image. They do like a three D mapping now. You can drop right in there. Um, yeah, here's a road that's pretty close by, Klamath Highway, this is the road you're going to take before you turn off uh, onto another road, but I'll take you over to Google Earth and fly around. Here's Winnema National Forest, uh, pretty, well, fairly close to the property, 64.7 miles from the property. Uh, looks like some pretty good hiking trails there, pretty rugged looking. Uh, what else? Oh, here's just some flat maps and stuff. Um, elevation fairly level um, here's Whiskey Creek East Branch of Whiskey Creek comes right through the northeast corner of the property here and uh, looks like there's a little spring that goes through there but I'll, sh I'll show you that on the map GPS corner coordinates um, you're gonna have mountains over here and over here so you're kinda down in a little valley uh, pretty cool little area um, yeah it's a scattering of trees uh, beautiful view surrounding mountains and valleys um, right off the east branch of Whiskey Creek runs to the northeast corner uh, Sprague River is pretty close got great fish in there that's just north of uh, I'd say oh, I don't want to lie to you I want to say it's about 30 minutes or so maybe 45 minutes up to uh, Sprague River and uh, you can go fishing there um, town's a little bit closer the town of Sprague River and also um, yeah Beatty is just five miles away. It's about 15 minutes to get there on the dirt road coming in. Uh, Klamath Falls is about 45 miles away. Uh, got shopping, modern conveniences, pretty much all you can, all you can need there. Um, but uh, let's jump over here to uh, Google Earth. I'm just going to kind of fly you around a little bit. So I already put the GPS coordinates in. And we'll just uh, so I get this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. So here's here's the property. I dropped the corner pins here. You can kind of see there's like a little two track that comes through here. You see that right there, the two track road. And the previous owners said they used to come in here with their RV. I don't know how long ago that was, but this kind of looks like a road here. Looks like two tracks there. Um, so I was looking around. It looks like there's two places you can come in here. Um, well, let me show you the creek here. So here's East Branch of Whiskey Creek comes right through here. It's right through the corner of the property right here. Kind of borders it a little bit there. And then this looks like a little spring or something. I'm not sure. Maybe this just like comes off of here, but this looks like it's a little creek or something running through here too. And this looks pretty green. It's like a little green field here. Uh, so you might have some some like nice wetlands here in the fall and the in the winter when it when it rains a lot. Not sure. I haven't been to this one, so I don't know. Um but here, let me just fly out a little bit. Um, here's the Fremont National Forest all around. You see all this yellow border. This is all national forest all down in here, all around you. Um, here's the town of Beatty. Uh, it's about five miles uh, up here. It's going to take you a little while to get there, though. Well, 15 minutes, I guess, to get there. Um, just because it's dirt roads and stuff. You can't go 70 miles an hour. Looks like they got a little like a little diner shop thing. They got sandwiches, milk, beer, and ice. Um, what else? So what else is here? So here's like the town. It's a pretty small town. Um, cool old western town. Can't tell what that says. But uh, yeah, lots of farmers around here. So the way I was looking at it, um, when you come in, you're going to get on this road here. You're going to go into Beatty, where they come from the south or the north. Um, I'm just going to fly down here into this road. And uh, Looks like you uh, go down 1194. Just 
kind of show you. We got spinning around here because that's facing north. So you're going to want to go south. Here's the town of Beatty. Not a whole lot. It's a small country town. Kind of cool old buildings. So this is the this is going to be your turn. Looks like it's right by the trading post. Most river trading post. So this is the road you're going to go down. Um, can't really Klamath Falls. This is 140 running this way. And this is, let me zoom out. I think this is like 139 or something. Come on, Google. It's not letting me do it. Sorry, guys. Google's glitching out on me. Let me get facing north again. Sorry. I hope I'm not making anybody sick. All right. So here's Beatty. Properties down here. Um, looks like this is 1194 Yellow Jacket Springs Road. This is what you want to come down. So you come down here. And it looks like one, two, three, fourth. You're going to make your fourth right. You come down, see this road here. Go this way. Come down here. Go over here, make a right, come left, up around here, and you're just going to kind of follow the road around here and get on this road down here. And it looks like there's a little wet spot here. Um, so you might want to go out there a four-wheel drive or check it out first. I know the previous owner said they went in their RV, so it might not be too bad. Um, but uh, just be cautious. Um, but that's the Whiskey Creek River going through there come down this way and just follow this road all the way down here and then it spits out you can kind of see the little two track here running through here just kind of zoom in as best I can and then it kind of comes up here and then it spits you out onto the property right down well right down into here and here's your property and then you're on it follow the two track here um, find a good place to park camp um, go hunting um, I don't know how the fishing is in this creek. I don't know if it's too small or if there's anything in there at all. Um, there might be something in there. I don't know. Um, it looks pretty small to me. I wouldn't bet on anything being in there, but there might be. Um, so that's one way in. And it looks like there's another way in coming here. And um, we found some um, recorded easements on this, uh, bordering the south of this property. Um, but finding the road is kind of weird. Sorry, phone's blowing up. Uh, this might be the old road here. Um, I'm going to try to get you in there. So basically, you come down that same road coming off of Beatty, um, Yellow Jacket Road, or 1194. You can just keep coming all the way down here. It looks like, I don't know about that road, but uh, I'd probably maybe come down here, maybe try this way, and then come up through here. And cut up this way and it looks like it looks like there's a few roads that go see that right there looks like you can come right through these trees here maybe that's where the road joins up I don't know guys uh, it's gonna be adventure getting out there uh, might might be really easy um, it looks like there's a two track coming in from the north and maybe something coming in from the east uh, but yeah that's why it's so cheap um, and it's cool it's got a creek on it Anyway, uh, let me fly out of here and just kind of show you, um, I was on Zillow, saw some properties, some comps. Uh, so I did Klamath County and uh, just did lots, sorted for lots of land, um, sorted for 15 to 25 acres, and then just applied that. And this is what I got. Um, cheapest one there is 9,900 for 20 acres. Um, been on for 317 days and I was looking around at it and doesn't look like there's any access to this one at all so I don't think they have any access here um, and I don't know it, it's it looks like it's just there's no way to get to it so that's why that one's cheap we're only asking 9,997 but we do have access uh, and then the next closest one 14,500 uh, 14,520 acres no owner financing. 
um, trees spending time listening to creeks um, or trees spending time listening to the sound of the breeze uh, they don't have a creek on this one um, looks like they have access to gravel roads if I do their own dil due diligence um, so this one I was looking at I think it's it's actually kind of close well it's kind of out, way out there so here's Beatty the property is our property is about right in here I think it's about right here so this one's pretty far out from everything else um, they're asking 14,500 we're only asking 9,997 so we had a pretty good deal guys um, that's why I think it's a good deal but uh, you know do your own due diligence look around make sure it's gonna work for you and then you know it just keeps going up there's another 20 19,000 19,900 and it's not even quite 20 uh, 21 five not 20 here's 21 six 29,000 so yeah guys uh, I think it's a good deal 21.19 $9,997 or 1500 down 250 a month for 120 months um, if you want to do the one-time payment click here check out get your credit card information or give us a call uh, we can do wire transfer or anything like that uh, if you want to do the terms you just click on 120 months and you fill in all your information here um, just go to view cart I think I have a couple in there let's click out of that yeah and you just uh, check make sure all the information is there you proceed to check out then you enter your first last name your street address uh, where you live phone email um, how you want to take title Joint Suits Rights is for survivorship is what we, re we, rec yeah, we recommend. If you want anybody else on the deeds, it just makes it easier to transfer. If somebody passes, um, then you'll have to pay all these weird taxes and jump through all these hoops with the county. Um, just makes a simple transition. Um, where you want the taxes to go, and then you enter your credit card information, expiration, security code, all that. Click this, and then submit. Or just give us a call and we can help you out with something if you, you want to use something else. All right, um, that's it. Thanks, guys.